he was upset, you know. He's got friends that had their license and he wanted to be, you know, licensed also. So um, he was devastated. Turned away why so many Texas parents have to wait weeks, even months, to get their kids behind the wheel for a driving test. Good evening, I'm Greg Kerr. Thank you so much for joining us. Kelly Phillips has the night off. Parents across the region are trying to schedule driving tests for their kids, only to find there's a long waiting list. In fact, many DPS offices are backed up for months. KFDM's Justin Hinton investigates the reason for the delay and how far one mother went to make sure her son could take his driving test in time for school. Shanna Lloyd will graduate from Southeast Texas Career Institute August 12th. She's hopeful it won't take nearly as long to get her cosmetology license as it did for her son to get his driving test appointment two months after he turned 16. I started calling on his birthday, which was June 23rd, and I called all of the local area DPS offices, um, anywhere from Jasper to Orange, Livingston, Conroe, uh, Liberty, Center. The list goes on and on. Lloyd couldn't find a single opening, not until September. I was angry. Um, you know, you, your child is turned 16 and they want their license and they, I want him to have his license. I have things for him to do and um, not being able to get in was, I mean, it was frustrating. We have to kind of be patient and let the system work. Trooper Stephanie Davis says new drivers began facing delays in 2009 when a new Texas law went into effect. It forces any teen applying for a driver's license to take a road test at a DPS office. That and the fact some DPS offices don't have large staffs are adding to the delays. People were operating under an old system of thinking and then once that law came out and mandated that all these teenage drivers come in, then that did increase the demand on area driver's license offices. Lloyd found a detour. When I called Galveston, Galveston was able to get us um, July 25th. And so we went ahead and scheduled it, but I had also called the weeks leading up to yesterday trying to see if they had cancellations. But nothing in the area fitter schedule. The 25th arrived, Lloyd and her son were off to Galveston, a three-hour trip that ended successfully. He's so excited now. I mean, he was finally able to drive legally by himself, not have mom with him or anything, and he hasn't been home since. <laughs> He's hit the road. <laughs> In Silsby. He was just, he was proud. Proud moment. Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. Now, we checked with a few of the DPS offices to see how long it might take to find an opening. If you call today for an appointment, you learn that some of the longest delays are in Orange and Port Arthur. October 1st in Orange, October 7th for Port Arthur. Beaumont doesn't have openings until September 13th. Jasper has openings much earlier, August 5th.